Our sun is a statistic, one of a hundred thousand drug overdose deaths in one calendar year, but he had a story, he had a life, he had people who loved him, and the ripple effect of his death, the concentric circles are still spreading out across the globe, and they will be for the rest of our lives. Cannon was extremely intelligent. He loved music, he loved movies, he was a voracious reader, he loved to travel. We found out uh, right before he turned 11 that he had been suffering sexual abuse by a friend of the family for several years that started at age seven. And once he was old enough to really verbalize uh, what had been going on with him, by that point he was acting out because of everything that had been going on with him. When we moved uh, out of town to try to give him a fresh start, that's when uh, he fell in with a, a crowd that started using marijuana. And he brought that behavior back here to the Tri-Cities when we moved back. You know, a lot of people say that marijuana isn't a gateway drug, but in this case it was. We really had a lot of hope that he was uh, doing well, and he appeared to be doing well, um, as I evidenced when I visited him in Colorado on his 21st birthday for the weekend. So we're not sure, um, we're not sure where things took a turn for the worse and why that last <coughs> weekend of his life he uh, used a substance that ended up being laced. Cannon died in a way that is not something that people like to talk about and that it's not a socially acceptable way to die. It's not something that people have bake sales and yard sales and fun runs for. They don't raise money for families uh, who have a child struggling with any kind of addiction or mental health issues, typically while they're going through the struggle. And really, things got difficult with him 10 years ago. So 10 years of counselors, psychiatrists, doctors. Trying anything to show him that there's a different way, mm -hmm. that you don't have to live like this. The grief that we live with now will never leave us and it didn't have to be this way but we don't know what could have fixed it these things happen and they've happened for years but until there's awareness raised how can there potentially be any solutions if no one's even talking about it so while it's very scary to tell our story and it makes us very vulnerable I hope that in some way, by shining a light on these issues um, with our family, that there can be at least some kind of awareness or even more than that, actually, than awareness, I hope, I hope people feel less alone because it can be a very lonely place to be.